Hi, welcome to Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, how to translate VLANs, or untagged VLANs in this case, from Cisco Access to Brocade Untag. So um, if you are you know, traditionally Cisco trained, or if you are migrating from Cisco to Brocade, uh, we're going to highlight the differences in how this is done. So uh, even though the command line interface is very, very similar, VLANs in particular is something that throws people off uh, the first time they do it. So in the Cisco side, um, we go into config T here. The first thing we do is create the new VLAN if it doesn't exist on the device already. So the way we do that is with an interface VLAN and then we'll say VLAN 10. Okay. Uh, then we go into the interface that we want to add to that VLAN. Um, and put it in the VLAN. So this is a fundamental difference between Brocade and Cisco. In Cisco, you go to the interface and add the VLANs to the interface. In Brocade, you go to the VLAN and add the interfaces to the VLAN. So um, well, it's a you know complete opposite way to look at it, uh, once you do it in Brocade a couple of times, it'll make a lot of sense to you. So Anyway, so we go to an interface, so interface, you know, gigabit ethernet, um, zero slash four, for example, okay? So now we could do a switch port mode access. And so that means it's an access VLAN, so there's no VLAN tags on the, on the packets coming in or out of that port. So it would be a PC or a printer or something that doesn't understand VLANing. Um, and then switch port access and you tell it what VLAN you want it to be part of, right? So switch port access, VLAN, and the one we just created was 10. So that interface is now in switch port mode um, and it's uh, access VLAN 10. So it's untagged VLAN 10. Okay. So on the brocade side, if we hop over here, uh, config T, exactly the same way. Now we create the VLAN, so VLAN 10. And um, so what we do now is add the interfaces to this VLAN as opposed to adding the VLAN to the interface. So right in this VLAN we just created, now I can do an untagged um, Ethernet. And you'll, you'll notice that in the Cisco side, I had to specify the speed, right? Gigabit Ethernet, fast Ethernet, you know, 10 gigabit Ethernet. In the brocade side, it's always Ethernet. So it doesn't really matter what the speed is. It's all Ethernet, so, it, so it's, it's irrelevant. So untagged Ethernet, um, and we'll choose one, one slash, one slash four to keep it consistent. And so that's it. So uh, I just told it to, to do, you know, add one slash, one slash four. So if th this is a stacking device, right? So it's unit one in the stack, module one, port four. Um, and as soon as I do that, it takes it out of the default VLAN, which is VLAN 1, and it puts it untagged um, into VLAN 10 in this case. I could have also done a range of ports there. So I could have done, um, you know, untag Ethernet 115 to 1110. So you can do it that way. Um, and so in the show run, we see the VLAN here. So by default, everything is in VLAN one, um, but then we've added ports 114 to 1110 into, uh, into VLAN 10. And if we look at a um, show interface brief here, uh, you can see that the interfaces uh, 114 to 1110 are now in VLAN 10 as opposed to VLAN one, and they're not tagged. So they're, they're what Cisco would call access mode or what we would call untagged mode. Okay, so that's it for that. Uh, there's another video on tagging or what Cisco calls trunking as well. So uh, tune into that if you're interested. Thanks.